Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today I will take up the selecting words which is in your English practice and these are important for your SUAT, NDA and all competitive exams. Now these selecting words is a very easy uh, way of giving the correct answers because this is the mixture of all what you have studied in your grammar, your syntax, your the proverbs, idioms, all these are mixed. So, but the thing is you have to be very careful in you choosing the right answer. So here, this selecting words come in all the, perhaps all the competitive exams. So the first question, I have given you 15 questions. So the first question is, the teacher wanted him to dash the lines, but he was inattentive. Now you see which phrasal verb can be used here. The teacher wanted him to dash the lines, but he was inattentive. Now, the correct answer will be the teacher the teacher wanted him to read between. Read between the lines, but he was inattentive. He did not very minutely listen to the teacher. Next. Complete the following sentences with the most appropriate words, phrases with reference to grammar, idioms, proverbs and syntax. Whatever you think is correct, you use it here. Like a fish out of aquarium, what do you fill in this blank? Out of aquarium, out of water, out of sea, out of ocean. So the correct answer here will be out of water like a fish out of water complete the following sentences with the most appropriate words phrases with reference to grammar idioms proverbs and syntax the vegetable vendor comes dash fridays now which preposition you will use in, on, at, every. Every is not a preposition but a word which applies here or not. The vegetable vendor comes. This is Fridays. So it will be on Fridays. When you, now learners please remember this. When you are talking about days then you are putting on. My exam will start on Monday. My birthday is on Tuesday. So the vegetable vendor comes on Fridays. This rule you must know. Next one. Pick out the most effective word or words from the given words to fill in the blank to make the sentence meaningfully complete. He dash in wearing the old fashioned coat in spite of his wife's disapproval means he, his wife is not approving she is not liking then also he wears the old fashioned coat so what will be the answer insists will it be insist desist persist resists now insist means what insist means to demand something forcefully he insists in wearing the old fashioned coat it's not Desist means what? To not like, dislike, to, to stop doing something. Persist means what? To continue doing. Resist means again what? Hold out again. You resist something. You hold out something. Hold out again something. So here, insist will not be desist. It will be persist. That is to continue wearing. He persists in wearing, that is when you continue with an opinion or any kind of action. So you use persist. So the right usage of the word will always 
help you give the correct answer. So think and write, think and fill in the blanks every time. Pick out the most effective words from the given words to fill in the blank to make the sentence meaningfully correct. If you work beyond your capacity, you will naturally feel tired, drowsy, confident, giddy. Now tired, drowsy, drowsy is what? Sleepy, tired, confident. Of course, you will not feel confident if you do be, work beyond capacity. Giddy means what? You, you, your head starts paining. So it is what? It is tired. You naturally feel tired. Now the next one here, a stitch in time, you have to complete it. Saves 8, saves 7, saves 1, saves 9. This is a proverb, a stitch in time saves 9. That is if you do in some work on time, it will save your time a lot. He dash a challenge. He gave me a challenge. He asked me to challenge. What he will give? He, he is giving. He threw me a channel, challenge you see. Next one you see. She dash a brief affair, appearance at the end of party. So put on, put in, put across, put up. So, in my previous session, I have explained about all the phrasal verb with the put, using put. So, put on, it will be put in. Put in means to enter. She put in a brief appearance at the end of the party. Now, uh, learners, if you learn in this way, think and write and learn, understand everything properly to use then you see the you get the correct answer my car was parked dash an old building is it besides against with beside so here it will be beside my car was parked beside an old building that is just adjacent to the old building beside an old building now here be very careful this besides is never my car was parked besides an old way besides means different it means in addition in addition that is with this you can make sentence besides a toyota car he has an alto besides means in addition now but here the main answer will be beside my car was parked beside an old building. The child was dash her mother in the dead of the night. That is dead of the night means in the deep night. The child was abducted. Abducted means what? Kidnapped. Abducted to, abducted for, abducted away, abducted from. From her mother, the child was snatched away, kidnapped in the dead of the night. The ruling party will have to put its own house dash order. The ruling party will have to put its own house in order. Next. I hope you all are getting your answers correct. Ramesh is as tall if not taller than Mahesh. Now here, as tall is not the correct answer. The correct answer here will be as, it will be, sorry, sorry. It will be as tall as, that is Ramesh is as tall as. So what it will be? Ramesh is as tall as, if not taller than Mahesh. Now this is the positive degree. And this is the positive degree and here taller than is, is not as tall as Mahesh but he is taller than Mahesh. If not taller than Mahesh. Okay. 
my first les lesson dash forgiveness came from my mother so you get a lesson on something my first lesson on forgiveness came from my mother the cheetah can run faster than the gazelle the gazelle is a, a, a wild deer all right learners this is also an animal gazelle is a wild deer it is the speediest of the two now this how can this be speediest it is the speed is than when than is used it means a comparative degree has to be used the cheetah can run faster than the gazelle it is the when you compare between two it is the speedier of the two this will be the answer speed speedier speediest speediest when when there are many then you use the superlative degree but there when the comparison is made between two you are using the comparative degree at one point it looked as if an area of agreement would specially over the issue of productivity linked wages at one point it looked as if an area of agreement would emerge so emerge here it will be emerge here it will be emerge emerge means what what is the meaning of emerge emerge means appear so learners i hope you have benefited from all the examples of this these english these sentences under the english practice of sentence uh, selecting words so i will come up with uh, more videos please like share and subscribe so that you get the notification